we do to attract people is one, we believe a lot in our vision and our mission. And so we believe if, if we spread the word enough, people that are interested in that idea will gravitate. So it will self-select to some extent. We do a lot of awareness building. We do a lot of storytelling. We share the stories of our work a lot. And I think that connects to the people that are supposed to connect with it, Will that will resonate with them. Um, in terms of how we find our fellows, it's a very, very elaborate recruitment effort that extends for about eight months of the year where we go in and make presentations, not so much on come be a fellow, but what is this mission? You know, what does educational equity look like? What's the role that you can play? And as part of that, do you want to join staff? Do you want to come in as a fellow? So that presentation happens on around 300 different college campuses around the country. There are lots of follow-up individual calls, ranging from calls with potential applicants to calls with their parents if their parents don't want them to do this work. And so it's, it's a pretty big media slash recruitment on the ground um, effort. We made it highly aspirational. We said it's going to be very, very selective. We said we want the best and brightest people. You know, till date, I mean, each year we've been between five and eight percent has up, has been our selectivity. So it's been very, very selective to get into the fellowship. It's even more selective to get onto Teach for India staff. Retention has been a much bigger problem for us. And I think there are many, many complex reasons for that from um, compensation. So even though we're, we compensate well as per the NGO sector, a lot of the people that we want and who come to us don't come from the, the NGO sector. So compensation is a factor. I think burnout is a factor. This is just really hard work and it's often hard for especially younger managers to know how to pace themselves and think about it as a marathon instead of a sprint. So they get burned out really easily. They're working all the time. It's, there's a lot of urgency within the organization. It's a very sort of missionary zeal kind of place to work. So that I think is, is another um, issue. The third is often we put people in roles that they're not fully ready for yet. Um, again, because we prioritize passion, uh, uh, our core values and a fit with that and sometimes the skill sets you may not have fully the skill sets you need for the job and the level of responsibility that we do and the responsibility that we shoulder because it's you know when you make a mistake it's about lives and it's about literally like the stakes on our children are so hard all of those things make it hard to retain people for the long term so we're thinking a lot about that internally, that what can we do to shift that and how much of that do we need to accept and build structures around, how, many, um, how much of that can we actually change.